Today we have one mission, to find the best tech and gaming gear from Goodwill. Last time we found some really solid stuff, but this time around we're going to be trying something new. Goodwill Finds is a website that is dedicated to the most high-end, premium, and rare items that you will ever find at a Goodwill. So let's see what we can find, shall we? Get it, because it's Goodwill Finds, and I, let's see what we can find. I just, I'm hoping to just get, earn some Goodwill with the audience. Oh. So we can start with electronics, clearance, uh, video games. Let's start with video games. Let's see if we can get this. Now I will say that last time I did this, um, I got way in the weeds. Like I was like arguing with people. I was like elbowing them virtually. I was like throwing bids that were way too high. Like I got a little into it. So I'm gonna try to be a bit calmer this time. Woo! PlayStation 1 for 27 bucks? Vintage Game Boy Lot. That is not a real Game Boy Color game. Look, look, these are totally fake. A DS Lite with four games. Garfield. We've got Dream Day, <laughs> Dream Day Wedding Destinations for the Nintendo DS. I want to play that now. Xbox, oh, now this is an actual deal. Look, it comes with Titanfall, which was my favorite Xbox One game for the first like several years. I'm buying this. $116 for an Xbox One. Dude, I have seen 95 of 5,000 products and this is just games. I haven't gotten into electronics yet. Ah, oh, man, I'm going to be here for a while. An Odyssey 300 by Magnavox. And it looks pretty much complete with the box for $27. Interesting. So know that the Odyssey, the original Odyssey, was one of the very first video game consoles of all time. I'm not sure what the 300 is, but for $27, I would love to find out. You know what? I think I have plenty to dig through here. I'm gonna go and load my cart up with stuff from Goodwill. And I'll see you on the other side, my friends, when my questionable decisions have landed in the studio. And now all of our items have arrived. In classic Goodwill fashion, I may have slightly overordered, like by a few things. So let's start out with whatever's in here, which I will say has gotten um, a little, a little crushed, a little crushed. Ooh, I know what this one is. This is our soup. Wait, no, I don't know what this one is. What? What's this one? Oh, Super Pong! <laughs> Not to be confused with. Regular Pong. Duper Pong? Regular Pong. Anyway, it's Super Pong. So we've got ourselves Catch, Handball, Super Pong, Regular Pong, and of course our digital scoring. A limited 90 day warranty. Boy oh boy. Oh, uh, we just missed it. I'm gonna, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna register this real quick. We might be 47 years out of date. The fact that this was 60 bucks on Goodwill, like this is a damn piece of like history in my opinion. What do we think paper from 1976 smells like? Uh, Probably paper hopefully from Hopefully not asbestos. It smells like paper. <laughs> so there is a little dingus that comes with it. Oh yeah, that's what it's called. That's what um, <laughs> well, uh, no, this, this is pretty dingusy to me because we've actually got ourselves the switch box, which seems like it was potentially an optional accessory. Look at that. Wow. I love Goodwill. I love Goodwill. How cool is this? And the reveal is... Super Pong! Dude, it's so minty! Who just donates this to Goodwill? I mean, thank you for donating to Goodwill so I could buy it at a very affordable price, but like, oh my god, dude. So we have loaded up our Super Pong with four D batteries. We've connected it to our switch box via uh, the RF cable on the back. So let's see if this works. Now we're on channel three. Hey, look hey. at that! It's got color too! Imagine having a color television in the year 1976. What a revolution. Okay, start. Yeah, this is regular Pong. Wait, oh, we have two paddles each. Oh, this is, oh, this is, is this Super Pong? Boom! Okay, it's just, it's flickering so much, it's hard uh -huh, to see. Uh-huh, likely story. Do you see, do you not see this? Uh, excuse me, are you trying to tell me that 1976 technology is not pristine by modern standards? <laughs> Yo! Oh! The Pong winner! Let's go, baby! This is dope. This is more fun than any $60 game you can buy today. Uh, nope. Especially Call of Duty. I, literally, name okay, a game. Okay, that is correct, yes. Name a game is better. Honestly, this holds up. And the fact that, look, look at these graphics. Like, yeah, it look, might look a little janky, but look how smooth the color and the gradients are. The frame rate is flawless. The controls still feel good. You got yourself a built-in speaker, boy. A built-in speaker. This thing is as old as your grandpappy. Man. 
stop with that. <laughs> it's also as old as Matt, apparently. A huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, Stance.com. The holiday season is in full swing. Whether it's amazing deals or the spirit of giving, your business needs to be prepared. Nobody likes waiting weeks for their stuff and potentially missing the holidays altogether. Sorry, little Timmy, your game console still hasn't shipped yet. No Christmas for you this year. Damn, poor little Timmy. He needs Stamps.com. Be the hero with easy and cheap shipping options for the holidays. The holiday rush is chaotic, but Stamps.com has your back. For the last 25 years, they've helped over 1 million businesses, big and small, just like yours. With partners like the USPS and UPS, you can have the flexibility you need, and more importantly, discounts up to 89% off standard rates. Plus, using Stamps.com is even more convenient with their mobile app. Sign up at Stamps.com slash Austin Evans for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage, and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com slash Austin Evans. Next up, we've got a slightly heavier package. If only I had a nickel. Oh, a laptop. So I paid $66, including shipping, for this Windows XP era HP tablet laptop thing. First thought is that it's actually in fairly good shape considering how old it is. So this is a HP Compact TC1100. And oh my goodness, this is, uh, what am I looking at right now? Did I pull it? <gasps> <laughs> this is the stylus? What a chungus. I have no idea how to open this. How do you activate? Ah, aha, I found the secret lever. Oh my God, what the f am I looking at? Are you serious? This is how it works? Oh, we gotta plug it in. We gotta make sure this thing works. The only thing we're really missing with this is a, oh no, 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 we do have it. We have the little nub. So we actually have between the left and right click on the nub, we can fully navigate the interface. This is so cool. This is so cool. Also, I found out that it is. it was released in 2004. This is almost 20 years old. Okay, I'm gonna fire this thing up. I have no idea who was buying a Windows XP tablet in 2004. Oh wait, last time we did our Goodwill video, they took out all the hard drives from the systems. Will this even boot? Well, only one way to find out. Okay, that's a good sign. We've got a charging uh, LED. Oh, it's on, it's on. Okay, it's just doing its thing. Please tell me there's a hard drive installed. Please tell me there's a hard drive installed. Oh, <gasps> yes, and that's Windows 7? What? So someone clearly used this for a while if they went all the way up to Windows 7 on it. Oh, that's not gonna run well. This thing, this is like a Centrino processor. This thing's gonna be laggy. If you look at it around back, it has like four little like chambers. Um, so this looks like a battery or maybe this is. Let's pour one out for Windows 7. And look, it's a polar bear. You know that dock, that swivelly thing that you mm -hmm. used? That was an add-on. You have to pay $300 additional just for that, just for the, you know, ability to swivel. So if I push this, oh my God, it just detaches. This is so heavy, bro. I mean. That was the sound of me peeing my pants. <laughs> oh, is that the sound when you dock and undock it? No, no way. That's the sound it makes when you undock it! Oh my <laughs> God, dude! Are you kidding me? What Matt, noises am I hearing? You're hearing the noises of 2004, my dude. What? Watch this. That's the noise. That's the noise I make when I see a cool tablet from 2004. Oh look, I can draw what I want. So I can say CPU, and it did it! Bro! Is this actually good? So we got Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, it does have a Pentium M at 1.1 gigahertz, and yes, 768 megabytes of RAM. Apparently this is Paul's PC. Absolutely wild, and honestly, for something that is almost 20 years old, it is in shockingly good shape. I mean, yeah, little, little scuffed here and there, but like, wild, absolutely wild. Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. This was used recently. This has the new Microsoft Edge on it. That's so weird to think about. Look, it's actually got real Edge on it. Don't do this, don't put old systems online, but whatever, it's fine. Let's, uh, let's do it, shall we? Let there be internet! 
Welcome to 2023, my little friend. Man, you know the part of the movie where the, the AI robot goes online and immediately decides it needs to wipe out all humanity? Yeah, that's what's That's happening. just what's gonna about to happen with this guy. How much was this brand new? So the one that you have right there sold for $2,300, not including the dock. So 2,600 bucks with the dock? Yeah. Bro, we got this for like 70 bucks or whatever? Yeah, Paul went hard. Look at that, welcome to Microsoft Edge. This is wild, dude. Look at that, it's actually working. All right, you know what, let's turn this thing off. Safely, of course. Um, and let's open it up inside. But I am so amped about it, it is so clean. That was the noise it makes when you have a low battery. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Yep, low battery again. Mm. Okay, so panel number one is... Okay, so we've got ourselves a... Is that a Wi-Fi card? Oh my God, it's a huge ass Wi-Fi card. And we have 512 megs of RAM. And that's our hard drive. Okay, so this is uh. a HP Toshiba hard drive. I can't even tell what capacity it is. And if we remove this, we should be able to, yep, pop out the battery, which is a 3.6 amp hour. And they have all of our information about the modem, Windows XP tablet edition. Okay, this has no right to be anywhere near as cool as it is. All right, so this is a significantly smaller package. So this is a lot of games. Oh, oh, they didn't come. Oh, okay. I actually know this, okay, I got myself. Not only the game, Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties, true modern classic, Spyro, which used to cost $20 at GameStop, a relative bargain, and Grease, the official game. Now, I'm not sure that's, they look a little different in the movie. Top it all off, we got ourselves a DS Lite. Someone clearly took care of their DS, which is not a common thing. Most of these DSs are in rough shape these days, and especially considering that someone donated it to Goodwill. Oh, look at, oh my God, it's like perfect. Someone put a case on this thing in like 2004 and then never touched it, or 2007. Look at how clean this is. And even the screen is not too bad. Does it have a charge? <gasps> okay, the battery's almost dead. But look at those, those screens are perfect. I'm gonna quickly plug this in before it dies. But we got an absolute steal. Not only do we get the actual DS, we got all of these games for a mere $63. Time to plan my dream day wedding. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, that's bad. It doesn't. It doesn't read the game. Let me restart it and see. Oh my god, I forgot! You have to restart your DS for it to see the game! Oh, good lord. Okay, never mind, we're all good. Three months to go? Oh my god, I can jump in the middle of someone's dream day wedding. They only got three months to their wedding and they gave up. It's so sad. <laughs> I just- wait, is this really how I do it? I just look around an image and tap things? Man! My wedding is way cooler than that. I think we can pretty safely say that we got ourselves a good deal. Largely because it's in such good condition. I think if this DS was kind of scuffed, this would have been a very like mid deal. Cause honestly, like none of these games besides maybe Spyro are really worth anything. But the DS having such a clean original shell and a console that seems to be fully functional, two huge thumbs up. Now this is an item that I tried very hard to get. Fragile, handle with care, thank you very much. This my friends, is a Microsoft Surface RT. This was the very first proper computer that Microsoft had ever sold to consumers. And honestly, way, way ahead of its time. Now this is running Windows 8.1, but one of the things that really made it unique was what was inside, because this was not using a traditional Intel or AMD processor. This uses an Nvidia Tegra 3, which was an ARM powered processor all the way back in 2012. Yeah, so we got like Qualcomm and everybody making it super competitive with ARM stuff today. Well, this was quite literally 10 years ahead of the curve. Unfortunately, it acted like it was 10 years ahead of the curve because while Surface RT was a unique piece of hardware, the problem was that you think that app support is bad on Windows today on ARM? Try 2012, nothing. Like literally nothing besides Microsoft apps ran on this thing. Unfortunately, this doesn't come with a charger. So I'll be right back after I clean this up and find a charger that works with the Surface RT. But honestly, this thing is ridiculously cool. Like, it's just, it's a true, true piece of history. So this, my friends, is our Surface RT, which I will say has been lovingly cleaned because it was real gross and is now up and running. Now, uh, you'll notice that I've uh, specifically not 
disconnected our power adapter because the battery is dead. So as soon as I tried to turn it on, it did nothing, but it has at least the ability to be run on AC power. You know what, I will say one thing, this keyboard is not as bad as I remember it being. It doesn't have a lot of travel, but it actually doesn't feel horrible. What does feel terrible though is this trackpad, because it's literally all guitar. Like look at the wear on the trackpad, like it looks nasty. But you squint just a little bit and you can imagine that this is a brand new surface today, except for the performance, which is bad. Wow. It's been loading this page for like over a minute now. That's very bad. What's really surprising is, despite the fact that they only sold this for one year, right? Because yeah. it was discontinued in 20, uh, 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got its final software support this year. January of 2023. What? <laughs> yep. That was the final software support update. Like that's kind of That is incredible. actually impressive. That is impressive. Unfortunately, they were supporting Windows 8, which was a polished turd. Inside, this is powered by a quad core NVIDIA Tegra 4 CPU. This was essentially a predecessor to the chip inside of the Nintendo Switch. Actually not like horribly underpowered for the time. It was outfitted also with a whopping two gigabytes of RAM and a 32 gigabyte SSD. I'm gonna be super clear with you. I paid 60 whatever dollars and had to bid on several of these for one reason, nostalgia. These are not usable in any way whatsoever in 2023. There's no practical benefit to this beyond the fact that it is neat that it is the first Surface. Windows RT was bad, no app supported it, and is almost entirely unusable today. But, as a lover of history and weird tech, this thing was something I really wanted for the collection. What the? Wait. I forgot I bought this. <laughs> okay, so let me go through what I've got here. So I've got myself a Xbox Series X controller, right? Yeah, so Series X controller. We've got ourselves Titanfall 1, the best game that Respawn ever made. We got Project Spark, Forza 5, and uh, Hotel Transylvania 3. You know what this is? Someone bought themselves the original VCR Xbox One. Bought a couple games for it, and we're like, I want PlayStation, Mom! Because these are basically all games, I don't know about this one, but I know these were all games that were, if not launch titles, in the first like year or so. Wait a minute, hold on a second. They didn't even open it! This is a sealed copy of Project Spark. You might be asking, what's Project Spark? That's what everyone else was asking too, because no one bought it, and the people who bought it apparently didn't even open it. Let's take a look at this Xbox One. So these original, oh no, oh no, oh no. How is it that this is the dirtiest console, and it is literally 40 years newer than some of the other consoles that we take a look at? Holy frickin' disgusting, Batman. Yikes! Yikes, no wonder there's no plastic bag. It's not to protect the console, it's to protect us. I think I've got emphysema just looking at this. Look at the, oh, cool. this is actually disgusting. Look at the dust, do you see the dust? I'm not sniffing this one. This is, look, I, I sniffed some things today. I've done some things I'm not proud of. This is nasty. This is nastier than a GameStop console. Can you make me feel better about how much we paid for this incredibly filthy Xbox One? Yes, it was a, just a measly $117. One, one, seven. Yes. Great number. Uh, okay, I wish you did get a pretty good deal on it, um, but yeah. I gotta see what's inside this thing, because it is probably gonna be the most disgusting console I have ever seen. Oh, here we go, all right. So, step one. <laughs> oh, good lord. All right, well, there's no going back now. Everyone got a, an N95 ready? I'm about to find. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Look at the USB port. Oh, good lord. Good lord. Ah. <laughs> All right, I am now prepared to look inside of this Xbox One. Hey, whoa. It actually looks like most of the dust is kind of stuck on the actual grills. We can establish that this is highly nasty. Now let's establish if it actually works. Because it better. Otherwise, I'm gonna get hepatitis for nothing. So, let's insert our copy of Titanfall. 
Okay, it takes no problem. All right, so we're waiting for our disc to show up, and unfortunately, I'll tell you, it ain't showing up. We can try a different game. I don't think the disc drive works, which isn't a surprise because considering how gross this thing is, imagine what the inside of the DVD drive looks like. Oh, okay. Wait, so Titanfall just doesn't work. Forza does. Okay, so now we just have to let the disc install. That'll take a solid, oh my God. God, no, we're not doing that. I mean, clearly it works, I think. Yeah, you know, here's the thing. Fine. It works. Does it work well? No. Should we have maybe not bought this one? Yes. But when you go out here and you spend $117 on an Xbox from Goodwill, you gotta take some risks. And this one is a health risk. Now this little box, I'm actually not entirely sure what we're looking at. It's also like a weird box. It's like folded over on the side. We have, Holy 